Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Trucker D, back again, back again. Hopefully, you're having a good week. Hopefully, you had a good weekend. Whenever you're seeing this video, hopefully, your week, weekend is going well. So, as for me, I am home, weekend off. I go to work uh, Tuesday, so just chill with the fam till then. So, I was reading over the emails, got a good question, and the question was, why do truck drivers uh, park on the on and off ramps or shoulders, which in the trucking world we call a uh, sitting duck. So it's a lot of reasons. Um, big reason is um, can't find parking. And as you guys know, my truck drivers out there, y'all know truck uh, truck parking is a major issue out here. You know, it's more trucks than they have spots. You know, a lot of the truck stops, especially like pilots, they're pretty small now. Like flying J's, they're usually pretty big. TAs and Petros are pretty big, some of them. But um, it's just not enough room. There's not enough parking out here for us truck drivers. And another reason is when you run out of hours. And for those who don't know, we truck drivers, we run on ELD. So when you run out of time, um, you got to shut it down unless you use PC, personal conveyance, to get to a safe haven. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that I haven't parked on the on and off ramps. I've done it numerous of times, especially when I was at Stevens, and I definitely did a lot at Warner. Um, it just happens. You know, sometimes um, I'll shut down too late and all the parking is gone. And I know I can bet you my last dollar. I'm going to get a smart ass in the comments that's going to say, oh, you should have trip planned better. But the thing is, in the trucking world, you know, we deliver and pick up any hours of the day. So let's just say you have to make a delivery at 8 p.m. And let's just say you get out at 11 p.m. Now, for my truck drivers out there, you guys know the chances of getting a spot that late is slim to none. So where are you going to park? You know, it's a good chance you won't find a spot. And I, I said before, you might find one, but it's going to be a spot that no one can get into. So, um, as you guys know, a lot of Walmarts, they're not too big on um, allowing us truck drivers to park there. So, sometimes we get desperate and just have to park on the ramps. You know, I've done it numerous of times. You can also park at a wait station now. I've been doing this for a while. I've never parked at a wait station. I, I will park on a ramp before I park at the scale. Because if you guys don't know this, um, DOT can actually come to your window and just do a random while you're parked there so that's why i don't fuck with waste stations rest areas as you guys know um they're pretty small you know so that's why a lot of times late at night you'll see them all lined up outside the rest area or right before you get into the rest area because there's no spots so it's not that truck drivers are lazy it's just that um there's just no parking you know now there's other options out there you can reserve parking but like i said people reserve that early so if you run late at night, you know, reserve parking won't be available. But yeah, so hopefully that um, answers that question. Um, I wouldn't recommend you really park on the ramp unless you absolutely have to. Like, um, it's not very ideal. Plus, it's not very comfortable when you're sleeping slanted on a ramp. So um, just be careful. And in some states, I know like in um, Arkansas... And it's another state. They'll actually um, knock on your door and give you a ticket. I haven't had it happen to me, but I've witnessed it happen. I've seen DOT. They'll just walk up and down, knocking on doors, and then they're going to give you a ticket. So just be careful where you do it. Some states don't care if you do it. Um, some are strict on it. And also, um, a lot of companies out there, they're strict on sitting ducks. So make sure um, you know their sitting duck policy. Some companies don't care. Like when I was at... Warner, they didn't really care. I did it numerous times. They ain't ever say nothing to me. Stevens, they're strict on it, but I still did it. They never say anything about it. So just be careful, you know. So people do say trip plan comes in handy, but then again, there's a lot of factors out there that can determine that. So um, you can't always rely on trip planning because, like I said, if you have a late delivery, that means you're going to shut down late. You know, that's inevitable. So. Hopefully that answers that question. I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short. I got some things that I need to do. So this is just a quick video for y'all. So as I always tell you, thank you to all my day ones. Thank you to all my new subscribers. You know, I appreciate all of you guys. And as I always tell you, take it easy. Stay safe.